The Cardassian Podcast. The Cardassian Podcast. The Cardassian Podcast. Listen if you want to. Hello and welcome to the Sexy 69. Why is that wow. sexy? Yeah, why is it sexy? 69? Uh huh. The mm-hmm. sex position, 69? You're disgusting. Wow. I think Ariana Sim Grande has a song about it. She thinks she's clever, but it's like. Well, obviously, it went over your heads just now. Well, that's because Both you did, did it. Didn't. Your we jokes were just aren't trying to good. be, a, yeah, we were oh just my... trying to be appropriate. Are you yeah. kidding me? We're just starting the podcast, I... and you're coming in thirsty. So, episode sixty nine, everybody, sexy sixty nine, segment wow. one, listener response. Um, so, everybody know you can grab some merch at shopsimgm dot com. It's still there. Some watermelon gear. Also, subscribe to the Cardassian Podcast YouTube channel. Where we're going to be uploading new. Yep. We have all of, I think, our entire well, ar- archives. Yeah, up there. Actually, it's actually like caught up now. Yeah, our mm-hmm. whole library. The whole. So you, so you could be possibly library. listening to a new episode this You're episode. You're not running a library, Courtney. It's just archive. a way to say it's a collection. It's an archive, Courtney. Archive. Then say, then say collection. An archive. I'd rather say it, library. Archive makes it sound like we like. Do, did those? Oh, those so you're gonna you're gonna like argue with archive testers and they find dinosaur bones. You're gonna argue archive and library. No, okay, Kim. you're just you're just being so like you're being very just, aggressive today. So me saying library is a no go is fine for you, but me saying archive is a no no go means I'm being yes rude. because that's two. I was able to go with the first one, but you just did two. Because an archive doesn't have to be somebody dusting off old books, you stupid bitch. That's it's exactly an what archive, not books, dinosaur bones. Okay. Like, no, you're totally off. Okay. Anyway, like I was saying, you can. there's an entire archive on the uh, YouTube channel of everything in the new one. So you could possibly be listening to this one uh, on the YouTube channel if you want. It's an option. And leave us a comment. Anyway, this so we're gonna before we get to the like uh questions and everything you guys out just um there's a special message, it's a long message from a listener named by Felicia. Here is a note for who's the smartest. And I listened closely to what uh I listened closely to what you three said when giving the points and only counted them if you all agreed. I wrote down the points and sorted them. Oh my goodness, you have a lot of time on your hands by Felicia and we'd love to see it. But that means you're that you're like a but we love you because you're like listen. I to said everything. we'd love to see it. Going by years, wow. Chloe won the segment in year twenty nineteen with five points. Kim actually won the segment in twenty twenty with eight full points. Wow. With Chloe six point five and Courtney six close behind. 2021, Kim won again, but not alone. Oh my. Courtney won the same wow. amount of points. Well, that year doesn't count then. Yes, well, it, I does. Think it does. Uh, Chloe, but close behind. nobody's beaten oh. my eight point record though. Chloe, close behind with 5.5. The current year, 2022, is going good for Kim. She's leading with 1.5 points, while the other sisters have zero. Thank you. For now, wink. 2021, was close. Courtney could have been the only uh, winner, but in a poll, the fans voted that Kim should get a half point for ele- elevations, whatever. So she, t- so she tied with Courtney, meaning Kim has two year points. Courtney and Chloe both have one year points. I'm excited to see how it goes on. Well, we're ending this segment because for someone no, well, to take the time to I'm get a- these points. Just, Wait, so it means Kim has two points right now, and you're going me and Chloe years. have one. Overall, I've won two years. Oh my god! Barely. So you left your questions and comments for us at simgmproductions.com slash podcast, and now we're responding. All right. Were you? A, was that robot, Chloe? No, it was just a very quiet quiet, calm and very clear way of saying it so everybody can hear it okay amazing anyway boycott glow 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 is the name of this okay, person well, that's can, the name yeah. we can skip this person no no no, no this everybody is be no i think we should everybody has this. an opinion come opinion that's a important. very specific name 
I mean, that doesn't have to mean anything. It's just a name. Come on. What else would it mean, Chloe? Boycott Glow Go Glow. Seth. Yeah, it can mean anything. Maybe <clears> there's <throat> meant to be it. Good day, Cardassians, except for Kim. I ordered wow. Taylor's new album on Simazon. Tell me why instead of the album, what arrived on my doorstep was Glow 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 Snake Juice Shampoo. I thought it was a wow. collaboration between Taylor and Kim. They spelled it K-E-M. That's a weird way to spell Kim. So I tried it out. Huge mistake. I woke up this morning with my hair being transformed into into tiny angry snakes. I oh. panicked, so I called on my roommate. Did, That's like okay. Medusa. Yeah, uh, but to my surprise, she froze and turned into a stone as soon as she looked at me eye to eye. I had a feeling that that was going to happen. I was about to say, "Are your friend going to be turned into stone?" It. That's Okay, what's happening to me, Kim? Is this your way of getting back at a Sim Swifties that sent you those snake emojis? Not only that, I also hear them whisper, glow, 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 box out now, buy it. On repeat. All day in my ears. The, and The snake suit? Yeah, that's what, it, I'm pretty sure that's what they're saying, that I am this close on losing my sanity. Chloe and Courtney, help me, please. I don't want to live as the real life Medusa forever. Glow, 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 hashtag, glow, 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 sex. Hashtag Kim Flop Lawyer. Well, wow, we'll spot on with this person. Kim. What? What do you mean, what? What is your what response? What kind of product is that? Well, first of all, there's no way of knowing that came from me. We have a lot of glow, glow, glow. Yes. And it's called glow, glow, glow Snake Juice. That's obviously your product. We have a lot of people who... Um, who would want to fake your product knowing that it's a people flop? People who are, who are envious. Who oh, my God. Are looking at a successful businesswoman. There are writing. no knockoff Glow 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 products because your product's already a knockoff pretty much. What do you call no, 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 Courtney? A great product. Anyways, with Glow 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 Snake Juice Shampoo, yes, we did send those out. We had had a collaboration. We did have a collaboration. So you did do it. Some artists. We didn't know what artist it was going to be. We we were just told, oh, uh, recording, a recording artist is going to be working with you. And I was like, well, we're not done with this product yet, but we can use this. There's um, no way you didn't know it was Taylor. I didn't know. We weren't You're a liar. Yet. And, and the snakes are a snake. coincidence. We literally weren't told yet. And so I was just like, okay, let's try out this snake juice shampoo. It hasn't been thoroughly tested yet. What was it for? What do you think it would do? Well, it what it's it's shampoo, but it's not the kind of shampoo you're thinking about. Not for your hair. You know then how you sometimes what? you get you know how sometimes you get your carpet cleaned? Well, it needs to be shampooed as well. This is something that a lot of people don't know. Like so people will have juice. a floor of snakes. Yes. Yeah, well, snake that juice. that was that. I don't was, get it. We had a couple of mishaps where we had gone to the zoo, and as we were showing off our shampoo to a potential, because they get a lot of stains, you know, animals. Sure. Sure. And so we were like, well, we do have a new shampoo we could test out. They didn't tell us that they were going to test that near the snake exhibit. I think you're full so, of it. You I know, think you're full of it. Kind of I think like, you knew the snakes would happen and you did it on purpose. You created another bioweapon. It's kind of like in, it's you quite know, impressive, with, Power, actually. with Powerpuff Girls. You're a liar. Got mixed the wrong what way. the f*** are you saying? Chemical X. And then no, you next, didn't. You know. You know damn well that snakes and Taylor are related because of you. You did this. No. 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 So innocent. We just happened to be at the snake exhibit and one of their creatures. Well, one this of those exhibit. Amphibious, okay. Well, this exhibit is about to have a whole bunch of frozen statues. The people. Well, now, boycott glow 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 unfortunately me and chloe can't help you 
No, well, this is there, something you'll have to tackle on your there's own. There's always the hotline you can call us, but just if you're going to come visit the facility, make sure you do have shades on or we will shoot you on site. <sighs> we don't have something to help with you. I'm sorry. There's nothing we could do except for spread the word and get it out there and give us good content. That's the best we yeah, can do. Yeah, just wear those shades. Yeah. You can turn this into a, a venture, you know, uh, pop on a... A this camera. isn't Percy C. Get Jackson. It, get get a camera, uh, pop in front of it, and you know, learn how to play an instrument. That instrument that could go, you know, da 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 da, and You're then you can wow, and then you can make this, and be, they could control the snakes. They could dance. You did this to somebody, and if you sold more than one, it could happen to others. So if anybody is out there, listen to Boy. Boycott glow glow glow. It was originally just meant for like commercial buildings to clean out there. Okay. And let's, you let's and move you, on. And you still didn't you, did why didn't you say carpet cleaner? Shampoo is that not is that not explanatory? Shampoo. This next question or comment or whatever is from Courtney's biggest fan. A lot of on oh, point names. You've got, you've got one, Courtney. A lot of names out there just very clearly saying. I have they... many. This is just the biggest one. All right. Well, we'll we'll see. It says Dear Kim. Uh, I thought it would say Dear Courtney. Um, a week ago I bought your new glow 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 product. It was a height increasing cream. I did just as it was described in the user manual. So they read it, Kim. They read it. Mm -hmm. I applied it to my knees. Now, the first mistake they made was buying it, but now I can barely walk. I have lost my sense of smell, lost all my hair, and I have become a meter shorter. I have tried to call the service line, but I instantly get in a waiting line for two Weeks. This is a serious issue and I don't know what to do. And this is for Chloe and Courtney. Oh my God. They keep coming to us. Like, I don't, you are my idol. This is good. You are my idols. And I follow Courtney's motto every day. Chloe, you are the true fighter and survivor. I love your podcast, Courtney. Okay. Thank you. Hashtag no. Hashtag Courtney's biggest fan. Hell yeah. Well, well, maybe I would help you, but you just called it Courtney's podcast. So maybe Courtney can help you. Well, KBF, first of all, congratulations on your cream. Being a meter and, shorter. Well, I hope they enjoy, you know. It, this what is a my, meter? Is that a inch or a foot? I think I it's don't an know, inch. No math. We're not taught these things, but. I will say... Please explain the two-week waiting period. Yeah, let's start with that. What's up with that hotline? Well, Has it gotten any all, better? I think it used to be four weeks, so maybe it is better. First of all, waiting uh, on the queue for two weeks, is that's standard for any business that it's has, not, it really that has a thriving uh, fan base and lots of sales. That's pretty standard, Courtney. Two or weeks. just a sh- ton of people it's complaining not, it's yeah, not a uncommon lot. that you'll call our service and of course you know you have the that waiting period and then you have 30 seconds to say what your um oh my your God. problem is after you get on but when half you, of that 30 usually, seconds being thank you for calling go 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 call center yeah that oh yeah no your time starts as soon as somebody answers that is part of the 30 seconds you know we we run a fast paced business they here. say I, I worked there for like a hot minute. What? They say, oh. no, no. They, you, they call and they're like, thank you for calling Go, Go, Go. Uh, go thank you for calling Go, Go, Go Call Center. How may I help you? And then they start to answer saying, hey, uh, just to let you know, this will be recorded for posterity and train. Mm-hmm. And then it's yeah. 10 seconds. Yeah. So they get 10 seconds to tell what they well, want. Well, it depends on how fast the oper- how fast you can speak. And oh if you God. can't talk fast, That's perhaps you shouldn't call. But two weeks is pretty standard. And I will say, you know, you were supposed to apply it to your knees, but it's only meant to be used if you're not a certain height. So you have to be it. We only grow you to a certain height. That's how the product's supposed to work. So if you're not between the heights of like, this height and this height. What is this then height? And this you're height? not going to grow. You're going to sh- go shorter. What height well, specifically? It, 
well, you have to be at least five foot two. And if you want to grow to be five foot two and a half, you have to be in between those numbers. Are you kidding me? They're already short and then you're just going to make them even shorter. No, you will be shorter. If you're five foot one and trying to use this cream, you're going to shrink. And they lost their hair. How can they lose their hair if they put cream on their knees? We live in a society where you're supposed to mask up. uh, And this is one of those situations. If you and you have to be when you this is very important. You must be six feet away when you apply this to your knees. You are a damn idiot. No one can do that. And make sure you wear your mask. Safety first. Keep the product six feet away from you. Don't put it on your knees. Don't put it on anything. Now, there, I can't help you with getting taller, but there is a booty booty pop juice that can help your knees if they're feeling weak or sensitive. They can help with your bone structure. It's called booty booty skeleton. And it's very, very good for you. I highly recommend it. Booty booty skeleton. Chloe, I swear to God, if I see a product come out called like booty booty bone juice, I'm going to sue you. For what? It's called For skeleton. doing a product that actually works? I would be very caution about using. I'm really not worried. Moving on. Courtney, do you have anything else to say to your biggest fan? Not really. Love that. N- the name is Caleb Kearney. 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 Love that. Hello, Cardassians. I have a very important question for Kim. Last week, my school bought the Glow, Glow, Glow bio for my biology class to experiment in making our own Glow, Glow, Glow products. Oh, no. However, when my teacher opened the box, toxic fumes started coming out of it. The entire school had to evacuate because the fumes, which police later found out were glow, 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 orange soda perfume, were killing people. You have an orange soda perfume? Um, I'm not surprised by that. It's in the making. It's obviously not in the making. Well, sometimes we like to send out little sample bottles. That haven't been tested. it's not killing people hospitalized sure but not killing it literally no said what killing happened. my no best one has died yet my best friend is currently in the hospital about to die from inhaling it my state's governor is attempting to sue you for multiple acts of manslaughter efforts are being made to clean up the school by packaging the fumes in no 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 jars my question is useful. Yeah. You have jars now? Yeah, you didn't know about that. No, we didn't know it. Secrets out. Kim, how are you legally making this and where? FY, you want to answer that question first? That's a good question. <sighs> FYI, you are wanted by the FBI in my state. I hope you end up in prison, Kim. But love you, Chloe and Courtney, the most watermelon sisters. A lot of hashtags. Hashtag glow, glow, glow sucks. Hashtag booty, booty, pop juice. And no, no, no are better. So, Kim, where are you making these products? Where is your factory located? I wouldn't say where anyways, because you don't know. No, I wouldn't say. First of all, we have many factories around the globe. And I can't say exactly where because underground, right? Underground facilities. That would be called. That would be called giving away business secrets, and you can't do that. That's trading. Trade secrets. Yeah, you're trading weapons. Is what you're trading in a go 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 kit for kids. Why? why? That wasn't in the product description. We like to give around. We we like to you know send out sample sizes as you do when you're in a business. You have to have test subjects. Not to kids. Not to that teenagers. They, that well, there's teachers there, and uh, if they want, now they almost killed their teacher. Your first mistake with our glow, glow, glow orange soda perfume was inhaling it. If you didn't want people to inhale it, why did you put it in the box? It wasn't meant for inhaling yet. Uh, there's a reason why we have it. We were just testing out to see what people thought of the bottle itself. So if okay. you opened it. But you put it in a finished product. 
finished quote unquote we, product. But we wanted them to. If you wanted them to just look at the bottle, you didn't have to put anything in it. You put a piece of paper or a slip saying coming soon, orange soda perfume. That's what all businesses do. We wanted to show what it would all look like. So that's not oh, actually. It would look like perfume. a massacre. Great. Well, you know what? Go, go, go. Orange soda perfume to die for. <sighs> you are the worst. And I don't think Caleb is going to be a, like an ad ad for you. Like this is not an ad for your. The scent will kill you. Oh my I'm God. surprised the FBI hasn't found you yet. Well, you have some good hideout spots, I guess. Booty Booty Pop Juice I, has have... a really good perfume called Strawberry Luscious. It smells delicious. It's safe. Oh my God. I highly recommend using that. Put that Nobody in front of your friend and they'll buy, wake up and they'll wake up. No I promise people want to buy perfume that has booty in the title. Oh, oh, I'm pretty sure they will because they They're have. They're going to think it smells like an ass rub with strawberries. It can be used as a smelling salt. Kevin. For comas. Yeah, just give it a try, Caleb. See if your friend wakes up. I, I guarantee you, I think they're going to live through it. Just get just get some, they get will some booty live booty strawberry it. luscious perfume. Caleb is completely exaggerating. But what was in that bottle was not our our actual perfume yet. That was made by... Somebody else, they were overseas. Well, that'll make them not want orange. to buy the real one in an it underground was orange, facility. So I figured, I figured it would work in the bottle because I just needed it to be orange. You can't figure okay, yeah. when you're working with chemicals. You can't figure, Chem. And what was the actual product that the kids were supposed to use that they couldn't because toxic flames came out? What what kit are you giving the, to these it's, teenagers? It's like those kind of kits you see in school. You have. You know, you make a volcano, you make little villages, and you. So, what were they in. making? Little tiny bioweapons? Like, what were they doing? No, they were making very simple stuff that you would see, like, for. There's nothing make, simple you about your fucking you company. You know how you made, we would, like, little. You know how you made a gigantic oh, lizard gosh. that overtook a city? You know, those things. That's so, that's so, that's so, watermelon. That's so watermelon. Watermelon. Welcome to segment two, That's So Watermelon, where we're given five random topics and we decide if each thing is so watermelon or so not watermelon. Did you know I do that in all in one breath? You should only do that for this episode since it's 69. I don't understand. Chloe knows what I'm talking about. I actually don't. I'm very talented. That's what I just learned. First topic, being unapologetic. So watermelon or so not watermelon? Well, it's watermelon. Being unapologetic. I think it's a watermelon. I, I will not be like, I'm not going to be unapologetic towards something that I'm not apologetic towards. But what if it is like, what if you actually did something like borrow a sweater from a sister, spilled something on it, and then just gave it back to that sister? Well, you have to own it. You don't have to be apologetic about it. So you're guilty, but then you don't care. Yeah. There's a difference between, are you saying that you own it, but you don't apologize? Isn't that the same thing? No, you though? own it by saying like, well, I spilled this on here. I did it. I'll pay for it. I'll do whatever I have to do, but I'm not going to apologize for it. Then the sister needs well, to get over it. You know what I mean? Like the sister needs to realize that wow. people are like starving yeah. and that like a sweater isn't that important. And that's being run. unapologetic. Yeah. Well, I, I would say it's so watermelon depending on the situation and the situation I just said. And if said, said sister wants a new sweater, then said sister can get a new one. Yeah, but if said sister loved that sweater and had decided to lend it to her younger sister who was mm, being a stupid mm. bitch well, and if took it. Well, sister was like a biochemist and like, you know, like destroyed people's lives and all that stuff. I think that said sister can get over, you know, like a sweater stain, like a, a small, like a small sweater stain. Like Why, so don't, why are you guys speaking in code? Just say it was you two. It what? But I'm just it giving wasn't. a hype. It wasn't. It I, yeah, was, this is just this is purely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, this may have happened with Kylie and like Kendall or something. Yeah, maybe know? like those two. But yeah, this is just nobody here. Okay. Up. So uh, anyway, um, 
I think being unapologetic sometimes is so watermelon because there are certain things that you should be apologetic for, but there's some things that you can't be apologetic for. You don't have to be apologetic for anything. Even if it's your fault? Nothing was ever my fault. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Courtney, I don't know about that. What if you were like in court or something and they said, all you need to do is apologize and we won't give you 45 years in prison? Then how is that being unapologetic? If you don't apologize, they would know, like, pretend I'm your lawyer, which I, I don't may, want to. which I will be. So pretend I'm your lawyer, <laughs> Courtney. The That'll judge says, Courtney, the judge says that they will let you go free if you apologize to the plaintiff. But if you don't apologize, you're going to prison for 45 years. What do you want to do? We're just going to settle out of court. That we're in. Courtney, you wouldn't apologize. You would go. First to of all, I'd never make it to that point, Kim. So okay, but Courtney, in this no example, you this. did. No. Yeah, you are at this point. No. That takes real There's strength, no... Courtney. You wouldn't apologize. So you're going to prison for forty five years. I'm saying no to this question. No, we're in this. This that is I'm not going to be in court. No. This wow. is a situation. You are going to prison. I'm she's just there. shaking her head. She, I, I don't think she's going to oh answer. Yeah, she's not so gonna she's answer. going to answer. So she's going to prison for 45 years. Anyway, that's being, what you say. anyway, I think it's the watermelon in the right circumstances. But if I'm forced to apologize, I'll do it. And if I'm truly sorry, truly. Would you be apologize. able to say just I'm sorry and not like, but you shouldn't have done this, you stupid There's man. There's always like, a second well, part when I apologize, it's usually not even for the person. It's just for me to feel better about something. But I truly have to do something wrong, which doesn't happen often. It is so watermelon, but yeah. some said sister does and, need to apologize and for a And sister Twitter. only became a fighter and survivor. Oh, my God. And you can't do that if you're always apologetic. Next topic, wallets. So watermelon or so not watermelon? I mean, I'm more of a purse uh, person. Yeah. yeah. But and I think a wallet is an important, like, starter. Like, I think a lot of kids have, like, wallets. Yeah, but it's like, I kind of think people should start getting away from wallets. Why? It's been known to cause back pain and people lose them a lot. Because I will say those are, those are harder to steal, well, kind of, though. Money in the said wallet to pay for my dinner or something i want i'm just fine with wallets what's in it is great but the like thing itself here's the thing i have nothing against wallets it, it beats like a fanny pack or something like that but like people like say it causes them back problems and stuff why are you putting your wallet in your on like like why would you sit on your wallet like with your cards and like coins and stuff yeah. like put it in your front pocket like us like unfortunately a lot of women we don't have a lot of like like pockets, pockets that, in the mm, front yeah. or in the back, and if they are pockets, so they they're super tiny. Choice, really, to buy, except I mean, we have to buy a damn purse, which can easily be snatched. Mm -hmm. but, you don't sit on your cell phone, so just treat your wallet like your cell phone. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? In your... I'm gonna buy a wallet. That's what I'm gonna do. That's right. I'm gonna buy a wallet. I'm gonna evolutionary, and I'm gonna buddy. and I'm gonna put it like in some jeans that have like pockets in them. Mm -hmm. and where I'm going to get a wallet. And I think they're still watermelon. I think they're the future. You're going to do an experiment? I think you could find a cheap leather wallet for about a thousand on like Simazon. Yeah. I mean, like I would want one that's a little bit more higher quality than that. You know, just like a little bit more. A thousand is a little bit low. You should get a 20K wallet. Yeah. Yeah, that's no. a little bit better. Yeah, but just just for a test run, we'll do like 15k. Like just to see how okay. it goes. You know okay. what I mean? That's um, fair. Like to like a lot of good pockets, like one with like a little light in it, something normal. Um, but anyway, we're just gonna give it a try just because I've never really had one. And what if it is way better than a purse? I think you're gonna hate it. Yeah. You're gonna be over it in like five minutes, Chloe, but I support you because that's what sisters do. But you're literally gonna be over it in five minutes. Like when I'm a fighter and I'm out there and I'm running and I'm trying to survive, things are going quickly. I don't have time to dig in my purse and be super annoying yeah. to everybody behind me. Like I need to get my wallet yeah. out, you know? Okay. We'll but see you how can, that goes. I think Yeah, we I will. Just, 
you know, why do people... Yeah, they could snatch purses, but you can't snatch a wallet. So really, should all... Everybody have a wallet? You can't well, snatch you a get, wallet, but you everybody... Get jumped. If you get jumped, they could snatch your wallet. Yeah. Yeah, they would really... But it's so much... That's like so much work, though, when you could just snatch somebody's purse. Exactly. So I'm going to get a wallet. But the thing about purses is then you have to like do all the work of unzipping it, going through all the sh** in the purse, and then maybe finding... Wallets can be helpful, but... but well, like not wallets. Or- Purses can be helpful in terms of like holding on to things, whereas a lot of people yeah. like they don't always have a bag or something to hold their stuff. So that's what I like about a purse. You can't hold a lot of stuff in a wallet. Mainly it's just for like cards yeah. and stuff. So like you can't put wipes and like movie lotion. tickets. Yeah. So you can put condoms in wallets. There should be more men yeah, having purses and you know, I think every bit every I think every gender should have purses. That way you can carry stuff around. Yeah, like, cause think about it. You all, you do need those things with you. Yeah, but so, you like, can't carry tampons in a wallet. And I mean, like, that's just money. Oh. Like, if everybody bought purses, that's just more money for that field. So not watermelon. So not I don't watermelon. care about them. I'm gonna still try it. Like, there's maybe they're not so watermelon, but I'm still gonna get one to see what it's like. Maybe it'll simplify my life. Maybe I'll, it'll wallet? simplify things for me. Would you be able to fit the wallet in your pocket? Um, in my customized like, are jeans. You gonna, are you going to wear some? Yeah, I'd probably wear, wear like my jeans. customized like sweats. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because and what if it falls out of your pocket, though? See, that's something you don't have to worry about with purses. Maybe so. But it's something that I think there is there is a there is a gap in the market for wallets. And I would like to find what it is by experimenting with it. You know, I don't want to make a product and just throw it out there. Sometimes like, what if I- they have chains attached to the to that. But like the chain could unclip from your jeans. I mean, a, yeah, a, a, a purse. We'll see can how it goes, Chloe. Yeah, I, I'll report back to you. But I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be interesting. Next topic, refund policy. So watermelon or so not watermelon? I think that they are so watermelon and I think that they are necessary for any healthy, good business. That is so incorrect. Refund policies are so... I mean, it's okay to have a policy. Our refund... The Glow 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 refund policy is that there is no refund. Why? So that we do have, so policies are so watermelon, but the act of refunding Kim, is so not watermelon. You've never if explained. You buy something, you have better done your research and you should know what you do and do not want. I've never heard that the customer is always right. That in that isn't, they, they're right to make their choice to buy something from us and then not take it back. Have you ever heard of beggars? can't choose that doesn't make sense but go ahead you have to be able to look like we make you think very critical you have to look at what you want to purchase and be sure like this is what i want it's hard to be critical when there's misinformation about your product exactly false advertisement there should be refund policies that allow for refunds when you put a product out there you got to tease a little bit you got to say like what the product is. And then once you purchase it, you get the full information. Anyway, refund policies, refund policies where refunds, like maybe not every, everybody has a different refund policy. Like if you've had okay. the product for 30 days, then maybe you can't return it. But yeah, sure. That's different. Or, but or, 30, or 30 minutes. No. You lose customers if you don't give refunds because at least they'll know they could come back. You guys, if you knew how to run a business, you wouldn't be saying these ridiculous <sighs> things that you're saying right now. Why? Because we make sense. No, I wanna, because I really that's, wanna... that's how you run a business into the black and into the ground. You're in the red. Yeah. She thinks that's good. I it know. is good. Anyway, refund policies that allow for refunds are good. No. They are so watermelon. Refund policies are so watermelon. Refunds are so not watermelon. Wouldn't you want a refund you if don't you trust- got something you didn't want, Kim? Yeah, Kim. Well, absolutely. 
then so how come your you customers, your customers can't? Customers the opposite. Because my customers are smarter than that. They're like, I know uh, what I'm getting. Kim, have you ever had a returning customer by chance? Apps all the time. Really? We've got numbers. Sure. Please move on. Please. Next topic, mistletoe. So watermelon or so not watermelon? I wonder what, like, the history of that... Yeah, where did it come from? Of that sexual assault plant came from. Yeah, I really don't... I really think mistletoe is so, like... It's not, uh, like, a modern thing. Like, if you're under a mistletoe with, like, a loved one... Okay? Hopefully not your sibling. Well, duh. Listen, I think mistletoe is kind of overrated because, like, I mean, nowadays, because, yeah. like, what if you're under mistletoe with someone you really legit do not want to kiss? It's like, it's like, oh, but it's mistletoe. Just, it's like, oh but, oh, but I don't give a damn. So. Just run away. Mistletoes can also be used to cheat, too. You it's mean, like, well, I wasn't oh, cheating on cheat. you. There was a mistletoe. Yeah, so I think mistletoes are, like, it's weird talking about mistletoe like outside of the holiday season, but I don't get yeah. them. Yeah. They're, they're not even that visually, visually. Pleasing. Yeah, they're not really, they're not even, like, that pretty. They're like the, they're append, like the, they're like the appendix of a Christmas. Like, they're just hanging there, and they're not necessary. Most basic part of Christmas or holidays. But can't they just, like, pick another plant to kiss under, like? The, doesn't matter what know, plant. Like, like a palm tree. I'm just saying for like aesthetic. That would like be hard to hang tree? up at a party. Like a coconut tree? Or a coconut tree. Coconut tree. Where it well, land, no, or coconut, coconut falls tree, and hits you in the head. Fall. And, and that means you fell in love. That could be romantic though if you or fell, fell into, into a coma. Anyway, so yeah, I think they're still not watermelon. Yeah, they're, they're still not watermelon. They're watermelon. And maybe you met the love of your life under mistletoe. Great. Yeah, you never doesn't know. mean it lasts. Last topic, mice. So watermelon or so not watermelon? Mice. If we're talking about the computer, are you mocking me, Chloe? No. Sounded like it. What was that then? And what was that voice? Like, what I don't that even. It was. Was. Uh, it was. It wasn't me. It I don't sounded know what you heard. an awful lot like you were doing mice. some weird voice. What was, that what are you doing? Great. I didn't do anything. You literally just said it right now. You said in, nothing. In a, voice that, in a voice that I've never Less. heard before. What are you doing? I like Chloe? it. Topic. What? I would say if we're talking about the computer mice, they're so watermelon, but like regular never mice. call the computer mouse mice though. But yeah. if you have more than one. I think we're talking about the amphibian. Oh, yeah. yeah, the amphibian. What I like about mice is that they're, like, really cute, but, like, they're not, like, I don't want them in my house. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want any kind of cute? little... Yeah, I think mice can be very cute, but I just don't want it, like, all the time. Like, I don't want it as a pet or anything like that. If they're not going to make me a dress... Yeah, and like get this, me, like and yeah, get like, me ready for the ball. If we're not gonna sing "Sweet Nightingale" to me, like get out. Yeah, Kim tried that out once. It didn't work out. I was six, and I try. I got some mice. I just watched Cinderella. I got you some got mice. some wet. Shut up, Chloe. You got some. I got some mice, and nice. I made them. I just watched Cinderella. Yeah, I got some mice and I told them to make me a dress and one of them bit me. The other one. Sh- I forgot about the one that bit you. That was funny. Yeah. The and I was that immediately got away. taken to the hospital. Do they have like rabies or something? Well, you yeah. When you get bit by a, a, a mouse or whatever, you have to go to the hospital for like shots and stuff. I think that they're still watermelon because they're it's all about the circle of life for somebody. Those little mice. Um, but yeah, so if they're not making a dress or if they're not, uh, leading some turtles, yeah, if they're not mighty, then they're not chasing a cat named Lucifer, then what's the point? Then what? Yeah. What is the point? And if their first name isn't Mickey, he's a mouse. Anyway, let's move on. I think that was good. Let's like move to the next subject. Yeah. Yeah. Mice are so not watermelon. They are. Mice are watermelon. 
If they bite Kim, it's pretty great. They're great outside of my house. Who's the smartest? Me. 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 All right. Segment three. Who's the smartest? This is when we're given three random words we don't know and we try to guess what they mean. Whoever guesses the closest is the smartest. I'm ready. I'm ready to keep dominating. And I'm sorry that my sisters are jealous. First word. Our fans can't count. I think it's a a satia. A S I T I A. Um, I don't know. I still don't even know how to say it. A satia? A satia. To me, that sounds like something from like the Royals times. Like well, the which will never royal. be royals. This is not the time to do lyrics. Okay. I oh, wasn't yeah. doing lyrics. What What are you talking about? Anyway. I think it's something that like royal people used to sit on. Mm. Like, like a throne. She was lounged against the Asatia as mm. the knight. So not the throne. Just a fancy chair. Yeah. Yeah. Not a throne, but a fancy chair that only royalty can sit on. Oh, you would have to be lucky to sit on something like that. The kind of luck isn't for us. But what about you, um, Courtney? Shut up, Chloe. What about you, Courtney? What do you think? I think it's some kind of luscious fabric. Um, I can't tell if it's like a synonym for like like a like a like another word to describe something. Like um, a satia. It does sound like a piece of furniture, but I don't think it's a, it's a piece of furniture. I think it's like, I think it has to do with transforming. Like what transforming? I don't know anything. It's like an satia of time, an satia of heart, an satia of satia. So a change. Okay, so I have the definition. Okay. It means lack of appetite. A transformation so we in the stomach. A lack. No. Yeah, no, Chloe. I knew it wasn't a piece of furniture, dumbass. So none of us got a point. Love that for us. Yeah, we were all Great. way off. Keffel is what I'm calling you. K-E-F-F-E-L. Shut up, you Keffel. You Keffel. It's fun getting into Keffel. So you think it has to do with travel? Don't sing. It could be trouble. Got ourselves into a little keffel here, like kids. A fight. I was about to say, Just I think it, trouble. Tr- to me, it sounds like, and I was going to say it sounds like a fight to me. I don't know if that's where you're going to go. It does sound like a fight, yeah. Yeah. To me, it sounds like we got into a little bit of a keffel uh, in the backyard like with, the, with the kids. Oh, yeah. I think it's something like a blender or like truffle, the trouble. I think I say truffles. I go, that sounds delicious. No, I meant trouble, like trouble or a blender. Okay. But for me, yeah, I think it sounds like a rough and you tumble. Have to like one a fight. Kim. That's the same thing. If you're in a blender or if you're in trouble. I thought you said a blender. No, blunder. A you never blunder. Use that word. I'm giving an example like intelligent people such as myself do. It mm. sounds like we're all saying the same definition. I'm saying trouble. No, you she's saying fight. trouble. We're saying like a fight, like a rough, like a rough housing. Okay, so Keffel is usually usually old or worthless horse. So when you called Kim a Keffel, you called me a Keffel. I knew it was something bad. I just had a feeling. Oh my god! Who says an you old horse is bad? That's an experienced horse that's been. You know, Rid- ridden many times. Yes, it's been ridden many times, but it's still appreciated. It right? says wor- worn out horse, old horse, bag of bones, crop. Wow. Okay, so Inferior old. horse. So it's not even useful anymore? Well, Kim, we didn't know the full definition of the word, that? but we were pretty close. But it worked out great, so I should get a half point. No, it no. doesn't work that way. Okay, last word. Vanitarianism. V-A-N-I-T-A-R-I-A-N-I-S-M. Are we so all thinking the knew, same thing? That it could do with like vanity? A, maybe, but if we knew what a vanitary is to begin with. Well, maybe it has to do with vanity. being yeah, like a vain... I'm thinking of vanity. Yeah, I'm yeah, thinking of a vain person. A person who practices being... To be vain, vain, to be a, va- a vain, but whatever. 
or the, pra- the, the practice the practice the practice of being vain with vanity of the, of the bitch, pretty much i wonder if you can hire a, a vanity vanitar- person who practices vanitarianism I unless mean, that means like the study like the study of looking at something like a vanity okay you guys can go with the being vain but i think this actually means like living in a van i mean maybe like, i didn't know there would be a whole it. ass word for that for a person who lives in their van or there's travels. a word for, cool if there is there is a word for like everything <laughs> okay it means pursuit of vain things damn it i should have stuck with my first answer Courtney, i think we got a point wow so that's so. so when you're that much of a bitch you it, hey there's a word you're into a word it doesn't mean it. you're a bitch finally it's like we finally got a word where it's actually it sounded like what it was well but somebody of, decided really to think that it was living out of the van and they aren't so it is like we were saying i was saying the i think of it, being van the, the being vain blah, blah blah we did it we did it shouldn't it then be called vanitarianism no does Kim only have a point or does she have a point and a half? Or is it two? I think it's at a point and a half. And yeah, and I could have been way more in the lead. If you stuck with that. And us, now you, you both have. I'm, I'm, point, I'm still point five ahead. Okay, that's fine. We'll see what happens next time. It's a long year. It's a long year. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for uh, listening to the Kardashian podcast. Are you eating? Are you no, they're not. washing the dishes? Are you living in a van? It doesn't matter. You're most likely not even. Are you going to sleep today. right now? Yeah, you're probably asleep already. Well, wake up. Because you're listening to the Cardassian podcast. Unless anybody has anything else to add, I am done. I am done. Thank you. Okay. Well, Thanks for joining my podcast. This isn't not, this is not Signing your podcast. Off. Love Signing that. Signing off. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Love I just it. want to give a special thank you. Good night, everybody. Exactly. Sleep tight.